Hey guys, and welcome back to this course on how to create your very own drone chassis in Tinkercad. Um, in the last lesson, what we were doing is creating this ducting, and we we're learning how to align and group shapes together. Um, we're going to just recap over a couple of them steps uh, in this lesson, but we're also going to look at how we can duplicate parts as well. So we're going to learn how to arrange our ductings together and create the kind of the top half of our drone. First thing I need to do is I'm going to select my ducting and I'm just going to go to the top left of my toolbar here because I need to duplicate this object. Um, I could copy and paste if I wanted to. Um, we can also delete objects in this part here and we can also undo and redo which I'll be using a lot I'm sure. Um, what I'm going to do is click on where it says duplicate and nothing will look like it really is really happening. However, um, if I just click on the shape here, and what I'm going to do is press and hold shift on my keyboard, you can see that I've actually got two of these shapes. So what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just press and hold shift and just drag out to the right here, and we can see that we've got a dimension here, which is 49 mil. And what I'm going to do is change that to 47 mil. And not pressing shift there also means that it's locked in that direction. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to copy and make a duplicate of these other two shapes here. So I'm going to go back to my toolbar and duplicate these two shapes. And once again, I'm going to press and hold shift. And this time I'm going to drag downwards and I'm going to change that dimension again to 47 mil so that we have that we've got a kind of square kind of formation. Um, what I can do is I'm I'm just going to click on the top of my view cube here. So I can just click on the top to see the top view of my work plane. And to just get a better kind of view. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to use one of these features down here, uh, the switch to orthographic view, just to get a better bird's eye view of my design. Once we have got them for ductings, what we need to do is I'm just going to click and drag over all four of them there just to select them all. Uh, you might find that actually you've copied too many of these shapes. So it looks like I've got actually six shapes um, actually selected here. So I'm just going to cl click on one and just press delete, just to delete some any of the ones that I don't need. In this case, it's these two by the looks of it. Ooh, no, looks like I've got an extra one on here. There we go. Uh, so all I need to do is just select and highlight four shapes. And I'm just going to group them all together just to make it a little bit easier to handle them. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to press at, and hold shift. And I'm just going to right click on my mouse here just to get a better view of the work plane. And that just allows you to pan around. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add another cylinder onto my work plane here. And I'm going to change the dimensions here to 39.5 mil by 39.5 mil. And again what I need to do is I need to just make sure them sides are right the way up there just to get a better 3D print. Uh, I'm just going to change to a kind of better view there by just clicking on this corner. Um, and I'm just going to click the top cube here and I'm just going to change the height of the cylinder to 6mm. And I'm just going to put the other cylinder on here as well. Because uh, I need to make a hole through the middle, middle of the cylinder. So I'm going to use this striped one. And I'm going to change this one to 36.5mm by 36.5mm. Again I need to check, check, make sure the sides are right there way up. And... I'm also going to change the height there to 6mm. 
And once I've got them two shapes, um, once again I can align them. So I'm going to just click and drag so that the two shapes are selected and go to where it says align. And I'm going to use these black circles again just to kind of get them in the right place there. I might choose to group them together so that it is, the middle of it is cut out. And now what I need to do is I need to align these two groups together. So I'm just going to go to the top view here and I'm going to select my the this circle here and these ductings here. And I'm going to align the two together just by clicking on the line there. It'll work there. I'm just going to click align and I'm going to click these two circles again just to make them align with each other. And what I need to do now is I actually need to start ungrouping a couple of these ductings because at the moment we've got material inside our ducting which means our propeller won't spin. So I'm just going to click on uh, my ductings here and I'm going to go to my toolbar again and click on where it says ungroup and I need to just make sure that I ungroup all of these different ductings here clicking on group again just so that I've got that kind of striped line circle in all four ductings because once I get to this stage what I need to do is just click and drag over the top of all of these shapes that we've got on the work plane so far so we should have nine and I'm, I'm going to regroup them and we should hopefully see that we've got rid of that material